Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Hobbit Village. Now I'm not sure if everybody's seen these videos, but in the Lake Town videos, in the Inca video, and in the Egyptian video, I think I mentioned it. Um, I'm going to be. Um, I was going to ask you guys, do you want me to do more videos, like you know, two to three a day? It's more likely going to be two, but you know, if I do that, that extra bit of free time, I'm going to be doing a third video, and lots of people are saying, yeah, go for it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, Probably starting with the next Lake Town video, so I'm going to do one of these. Uh, I know there wasn't a video yesterday as well. I'm back to recording, rendering, uploading on that one day, which kind of sucks. So recording these extra videos, I'll be able to sit down, record for like two hours, and I'll have like two to three videos for at least two Let's Builds, maybe three Let's Builds. So, you know, it'll be good. Um, what we did in the last video, though, uh, was the roads, and we were doing the... Forest. Now, I've sort of off camera redone all of the forest. Um, not redone it, but finished it um, to an extent. So we've got all the grass in place, these little rose bushes. I say rose bushes because it's the rose, but just using metadata. Now, some of these trees are messed up, so I'm thinking of removing these and redoing them to try and mm, get around the biome issue. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to have to sort of biome the whole forest to make them look like this, which I don't want to do because that's going to take way too much effort. And I kind of like the green more than the yellow with this type of forest in particular anyway. What we're doing in this video is um, sort of the next stage of the forest, which is going to be bushes and rocks and thinking of an idea for a little stream. I'm not too sure where it's actually going to come from. Might end up having to put a little cave in one of these, and then just because I want a stream going across the path, um, probably going off in that direction. Uh, so I was thinking of like having a small little cave here somehow, and then a stream just going to trickle out and go off in that direction somewhere. Um, maybe going down, I don't know, it's going to be coming from somewhere. But we're going to be doing some small bushes and some stones uh, just in this small area, like we did when we were doing the grass and the dirt and stuff like that. So, what we're going to need is some leaf blocks. Now I'm going to use spruce leaves because I don't think I've used spruce leaves at all in this so it's going to stand out. And we're also going to use the acacia leaves which are here because acacias I've got metadata of like cherry bushes and um, grapes and stuff and quite lots of other like fruity things so it's going to look quite nice. And we're also going to get some fences. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep the fences. I might just do just leaves. In fact, yeah, we're just going to go for just leaves. It's kind of against my style because I don't really like the floating leaves. But I think in bushes, it's okay. You now you can get away with it with bushes. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for big areas where it's kind of a little bit open. So for example, here you've got a large space in between two trees. So we're just going to go and fill that in with a bush. So I'm just going to spam a bunch of leaves down like so just to get a basic shape, that's not too bad. And then I'm going to start to shape it, so I'm going to add little bits like this where it connects a diagonal. Um, that's something that I like to do, it helps to make the bush look a little bit more sporadic. I'm just going to put a block down there, and like that maybe, yeah. Uh, over here we can then put one that goes up and down, we can even bring it around here a little bit, up here, and we'll expand out this way a little bit more as well. And that's kind of all I'm going to be doing. It's just these small little bushes. I mean, I say small, that's actually turned out to be quite big. Uh, and we're also going to stick to two, three blocks high at a push if we really have to. But we're going to stick to two blocks high if we can. And you can see already the sort of small impact that that's had. So I'm going to do a couple of those and we're going to do a couple of uh, the other blocks. Now, the reason I'm doing bushes and rocks in this video together is just because of you know how long it's going to take. Um, also I'm going to be doing this off camera but once I've got all the bushes and rocks in place I'm then going to be going around with double tall grass and double tall ferns and just spamming them everywhere to make it look even more overgrown and pretty. Um, but I don't want to do that on camera because that's just really really boring and unnecessary. I can just tell you guys and then show you when I'm done. So we're going to place some of the acacia leaves about like so. And they're actually quite close to this acacia, but it's okay because we're changing the metadata, I keep forgetting that. So you can see we've got grapes, but we use grapes down here, so I don't want to be using those in the forest. We've got little cherry bushes, which I think we'll use here. And 
some of these textures are great. Some of them, I think, need a bit of work, but they still look nice. Uh, I'm not too keen on these white blobs, the white pixels on these cherries. I mean, I get why they're there, and from a distance, it has its purpose. Close up, I'm not a big fan of it. But there you go. So we could just dot some of these around, something like that. And there you go, it's quite different to this bush actually. This one's really spread out and it's going up and down in places. This one's just sort of here, it sort of fits. Oh, and we've also got those two that we need to change. We'll just put another block there. And yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So there's a second bush. I'll just do a third bush, I think, on camera for you, and then we'll get onto the stone. So here, here can, we can put another bush. So let's go for more acacia leaves. And we'll see what other leaf blocks monster fishes give us to play with. And we just do this and just spam it around a little bit and then fill in some of the gaps like that, make it look okay. And there we go. And here, the uh, like that. There we go, it's quite a nice large bush. And we're just gonna put a block there and they're just messing about with the roots a little bit on this tree because they're a bit messed up from world editing. So let's cycle through. There should be at least at least one other block that we can use. Oh, of course. So this cherry block, I'm an idiot, is actually uh, biome specific. And just off in the distance there, you can just see the other one. So uh, hopefully we can get these without messing up the uh, leaves up there too much. So I'm going to try using this sky biome one see how that works so let's just change all these to the cherry box first i'm calling these the cherry box i don't know if they're meant to be cherries or if they're meant to be something else but i don't know i'm going to call them cherries uh there we go so we've changed all of them and i don't think any of the leaves are actually changing in this biome so that's good so we've worked out sky biome even though it makes the world look a bit crazy sometimes it doesn't mess up leaf blocks so we can have this cool bush in here like that. And to be able to change the biomes and be able to change the metadata, you need a plugin called MetaCycler. Um, I get that question all the time. So every time I'm doing something that's like, you know, heavily dependent on the biome tool, I like to mention that. Uh, ooh, Mr. Block. So there you go. So we've got three different types of bushes in there. They are looking a little bit similar. So I'm thinking I might make this one here a little bit more crazy. So it's going to actually something like coming right up here just to make it a bit different and i might actually put some fences in this bush so like i mentioned before i wasn't going to go more than three blocks high so this one with it being a big thicker scarier looking bush because it's darker i can have that little bit extra and there you go so these two are quite similar but it's fine because they're different so it's going to be dotting bushes like that all over the place, probably putting a few together as well. So, you know, there's going to have the cherry bushes and these bushes sort of interlacing. Interlacing, is that a word? It is now. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to be doing that all over the forest and hopefully making it look pretty cool. Next, we're going to do some rocks. And we've got one over there. We've got one here, actually. Uh, I'm not keen on them. So we're going to just do them all by hand, which is going to be a bit, bit of effort. But it's going to look better so we're just going to do a small rock like that that might actually be enough um, and then we're going to do the same technique as they're not a normal dirt block there we go there we go we're going to use the same technique as we did over there and blend the stone and grass together so we just need the grass block and then we can just place like a grass block there and we can place a grass block here and here, stone there, like that, put stone down there as well. There you go, it's quite simple. Another thing we can do, and this is something that I've only actually really thought of recently, I don't know if I've seen it on someone's plot or I don't know what, how, where I've seen that. If we do 44 colon 2, that gives us the Envirus Lab block, and the Envirus Lab is an awesome block. Um, so we're going to place that down like this just dot it about a little bit and there we go and if we change the biome i'm not sure which one it is you get a really really nice mossy slab 
mossy half slab. Um, we'll just cycle through till we find it. There we go. The Swampland Mountain. So this actually might mess up the leaves a little bit if we overuse it. Um, so hopefully we've not done that. Yep, these leaves don't seem to have messed up at all, so that's good. And it just gives that extra texture to these blocks. Now I'm also going to make these really, really mossy and overgrown like that. And then maybe make that one sort of normal-ish. Make that mossy. That one's fine as it is. There you go, just a small little bit of extra rock. I'm actually just going to put slab in there, so ooh, that was the wrong tool. There we go. And I think that looks quite nice. It's just a subtle change in the ground, and it, it I think it really, really works nice and looks pretty. And there you go, so there's that. The other thing, then, you can use the stone pressure plates as well. And this is something we saw on Dark Appler. Um, his name was DCK1234, and he changed it. Um, not pressure plates, trap doors. So if you get a stone trap door, well, you get a normal trap door, and you change the biome of it, and then you can get a stone variation somewhere. There we go. So you know, just add a little bit extra. Now, I don't like it where I've used it there, because it doesn't actually quite look right. So I'm going to actually move that to the side here and this gives a little bit of extra detail and depth to the rock not a lot of people like this i've heard a few people on the server say that they don't like this idea but you know i, I like it i think it works quite nicely uh, and we're also just going to dot a few back about and the way dark apple used it it really looked like just small stones just randomly throughout so if we go like over here for example and just put one there and then i get my tool to copy it paste it same with this one here, just paste the, and then we do the same with the biomes, paste the biome, come over here and paste the biome, it just looks like a small little stone in the forest. Now, because I said I was going to do it, um, I'm just going to quickly do it for this little section, we're going to get some double tall grass and some double tall ferns, and we're just going to spam around like this, and just make this look really, really overgrown, and this is kind of what I'm going to be doing and then let's just take a step back and have a look. You can see oh, that looks a lot more overgrown. It looks a lot more foresty. It still needs a bit of work. That's just quite rushed. I will be sort of fine tuning it as I go over it a bit more detail. Um, but, you know, I want to do all that off camera. All this off camera stuff that I'm saying as well, I'm hopefully going to be doing more live streams. Um, things have been getting a bit hectic with me in the last couple of weeks. A lot of stuff's been happening. Um, so I've not been able to record as much, which is why uh, we didn't get a Minecraft video yesterday. Not an ARC video, but we didn't get a Minecraft video. Um, so I'm going to be live streaming, and when I next live stream, hopefully I'm going to be doing um, just stuff like this. Like, you know, working on the forest, working on, like, I think those houses at Lake Town. I said I was going to do most of that off camera, so we could just do all the detailing on camera, because that's what people like to see more, uh, rather than just the boring uh, shapes that we do time and time again. Uh, we actually done all of this on a live stream, all the uh, naturalizing of this hill, you know, making it all look smooth and stuff. Because beforehand, it looked ugly. But yeah, so that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Hopefully, like, you're getting a few ideas with like the rock here and like bushes and stuff. Um, I'm quite looking forward to see how the rest of this forest turns out. Uh, hopefully it'll be done by the next episode and we can start to work on the pine forest because it's going to be quite different. It's going to be similar, but it's going to be different. Um, and that's it for the video, guys. If you like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.